Hi, Paula here at Health Rediscovered. Today I thought I would talk to you about another one of my favourite acupuncture points uh, called Heart 7. This point is on the inside of the wrist. It is a glorious point. We describe it as calming the shame. So if you think of the shame as like your spirit, your soul, your personality, your mind, it could be translated into all these things. And this point is beautiful when we're having that really busy head, which... As I record this, we're only run up to Christmas. Everybody's got a very busy head trying to make sure that they've got all the things in and planned and organised and have they done all the things and have they remembered great Aunt Bessie's mind and all that stuff. Who's coming for dinner? All that stuff. Just that busy, busy head. It's also really good if you tend to ruminate. So, excuse me, if you tend to overthink or worry about certain things or, you know, an incident that happened five years ago that you're still going over in your head over and 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 over again. This is a really good point to do as well. So it's called Heart 7 and it it translates as Spirit Gate. So this idea that it's a gate that has to be opened well enough, or sorry, oiled. So by doing acupressure, you're oiling the gate, which then allows it to open and close with ease. So we can allow the thoughts to come through and then shut the gate when we're done with them, rather than clinging onto them and hoping that it figures itself out. So, this point is on the wrist, both sides, doesn't really matter. Again, both of these are bilateral. Now, sometimes, if you can get yourself in the right position, you can actually do the two at once. Um, I have a patient who, for example, finds meetings really stressful. Uh, so, when she's sitting in the meeting, she actually sits with her hands kind of folded, and then has different bits of her, you know, so I've got my thumb in this hand, and then I've got my pinky in this hand, just whatever works. So, if you come down from the pinky, just to the wrist where you can see that first wrist crease, this is where the point is. And there's a little round bone called the pisiform, or the pisiform, depending on your accent. Um, and frankly, it's one of the few bone names I still remember. Because um, it's funny. Uh, anyway, you're coming to the inside of that bone. So the bone's right on the, right on the crease, and you're coming to the inside. And you're going to feel a wee tendon. You can always wriggle your fingers and you'll feel that tendon. There's an acupuncturist I'm aiming for in between them, but your finger's not going to manage that. So you just apply some nice gentle. And again, on this one, as with the sleep one that I spoke about before, um, on this one, I would just press and hold. There's other points that you can flick, but you would tend to do that if you're more stuck. So you could do the flicky thing if you're sinking more into depression. But if you've got a busy mind, all I would do is just press and hold. And it's on both sides. So a little round bone, bottom of the wrist, just at the crease. You come to the inside, put a little bit of pressure. Just what feels comfortable. Always to your comfort level. So for some people, it's almost no pressure at all. So you feel a shift. And for other people, you need to dig a little bit deeper. I generally find if I hold this point for 30 seconds to a minute, if even that long, it makes me want to do that. It always it genuinely just makes me want to go... <sighs> nice big sigh and let it all go um, and allows my mind a little bit of calm mm. another little trick that you can add to this one and I learned this quite recently and I love it so when you're in that busy mind mode and your head's going 100 million mile an hour and you cannot for the love of anything reasonable get your mind to shut up and stop going down all these different little stories um, is to ask the question Sounds really weird, but just try and ask the question. I wonder what my mind will think of next. And then just pay attention to the answer that you get. Uh, I personally find it brilliant. Uh, and I've recommended it to a few people so far. I only learned about it this year. Um, on TikTok, of all things. Um, yeah, it's a beautiful point just for coming down. See, because I'm still pressing it, my hand's starting to shut up. So I shall go for now. I hope you find that point helpful. Um, as ever, any questions? Um, if there's any way I can support you, give me a shout.